Alrighty, folks, tournament weekend. We are actually at Lake Pardee right now, right behind me. It is Friday afternoon, about three o'clock, and it's the Gambler Series, the Yakabass Gambler Series, a new circuit for the 2024 season. Basically, it is a gamble, higher entry fees, two day event, 30 days off limits for pre-fish. I like the format. We had our first event at Rollins Lake about a month and a half ago. Day two was canceled because of weather, but gotta give a shout out to old Santa Claus, Mr. Terrence Beer Santa Sullivan. He took the W there. He was the inaugural Yakabass Gambler Series champion but just thought I'd stop here at this lookout point and just scope out the lake looks good looks promising oh and the other thing I gotta say is this is the first tournament of the year where the weather it's gonna be kind of nice it's actually kind of hot right now I almost feel like I have to shed some layers some nice weather for once for a tournament the lake looks good maybe a little bit low pretty clean water we're actually not staying here we're staying down the road at Lake Comanche because that's the only place with cabins but uh, I'm gonna go take another peek at this look around and then uh, we'll make our way to Comanche where we'll check in get settled in meet the fellas i'm excited another tournament weekend coming on up should be a good one <sighs> we've arrived okay hey, hi man. how you doing good how are we Pretty good now. How are you? Oh, not bad. Not any traffic on the drive, so that was nice. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Man, it's nice. You ready? Yeah. As soon as we get the key, get in the cabin. Oh yeah, we're waiting on one more person, Michael. Is he in the office? What's he doing? Said he was in the office. All right, we made it. Lake Comanche, as mentioned, where we're staying. This is one of, what, five cabins on property. Apparently, we're spoiled nowadays. We don't truck camp as much as we probably should, and we needed a roof over our head, even though this probably would have been a good weekend to truck camp. I'd say the only one good thing about staying at party, though, would be nice to, like, just kind of look at the lake, walk around. I just checked it out, though. Lake looks low. Pretty clear, though. Clean water. Well, they all look the same out here. Big bowls of water, basically, with rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we are just waiting on Mr. Michael Ensign to get here, and then hopefully Beer Santa's arriving shortly because Someone yeah, said he's thirsty. I'm thirsty. Aren't you thirsty? A little bit. Yo. Where are you at? In the water. We can't get in the cabin without you. <laughs> Why? She said that only you could have the key. I have the keys in the back of my truck and on my cooler. Okay, we'll right. go get them. All right. How long are you going to be on the water for? Not long. I'm just trying this motor out. Dude, it's nice out here me and dutch should probably just join you i would dude why not we got nothing else to do it's a good inkling of what's gonna happen Mom. i was up in the shallows standing up nothing up there all right we're gonna come get the keys all right later, later. of course i had to stop by another 60 dollars worth of on the way out of town tackle yeah <laughs> what <laughs> junk that I'm not going to use. Oh, that's yeah. cool looking. Get one of those. Oh, don't forget this tomorrow. I know. That's why I didn't put it in my tote. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is old school truck. It's got the handle window. The truck's probably older than you. It's a 2000. Were you even alive in 2000? Dude, I was 12 in 2000. What? It's not him, is it? No, I don't think so. No, it's a yellow kayak. Yeah, it's, no, it's not big enough either. Secret bait over there. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt to look. Moist tails. That's gonna be the winning bait this weekend at party. A little moist tail. Good bait. Ooh, the old flicker shad. It's so funny. I started catching bass on that at very S the flicker shad. I had no idea it was like made for a trout. Some chop hose. I did not bring top water with me this weekend. Yeah, make record. 13 pounds. 1996. No, that's not true because there was a 15 pounder caught like. Four. Oh, that's right. No, because that's, yeah, that's old. Dude, that's what a 12 pounder looks like. Almost 13, yeah. Oh my god. Look at the belly on that thing. That would feel weird. Just that wouldn't feel real. Did you buy a pass? 
but I might get us all passes just in case. Yeah, I mean, it's a good thing, though. All right. No, you can buy a pass. You already have your state license? Yeah. Can I get three? Is that possible? You can get as many as you're willing to pay for, darling. Do you three. want them all today, today, tomorrow, next day? Is it just, what just are you tonight. doing? Three adult yeah. passes? Yeah, just in case we go fishing. Okay, because each yeah. is an adult fisher. Anyone under 16, yeah, they don't need Okay. Yes. Well, is that actual age or mentality? Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the actual age. No. Okay. Well, thanks. All right, thank you. Okay, that's here. Okay, there was a trout or something. When well, I was in there earlier, really said they put a thousand pounds of trout in there yesterday. Just in case we do some bank fishing. Just in case we go down to the pond or something. You never know. Dude, we have a grocery store in here. I know. <laughs> Literally, right here is where we parked, and we were just watching people go out for the team tournament, and it was just. Whew. Is that Mike way out there? Is he straight out over there? I don't think so. Maybe he just took off to see what his motor would do. Mike is testing out a new motor configuration. He's got a bow mounted motor that can go on the bow and the stern somehow. And somehow he's got the foot pedal like so he can use it while in his kayak both sitting and standing. Yeah, he comes up with some crazy stuff. <sighs> Grocery store? Here, I can grab something. It's bread and the beer. Bread right. and the beer. You know why I think I should get the bedroom? Why is that? Because all three of you snore. Stuff in there for now. Sleep in the closet. Pre-made wraps for lunch. Coffee. Alrighty, should we lock the door or just? <clears throat> Ooh, dude, your breath smells like sausage. Did you eat a sausage for lunch? No, I had chicken wings. Oh. Can we take your truck? Yeah. Put your rods in the back. Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna take a freaking wacky rig. Might as well. Love your multicolored rod sleeves. You like that? That happens when you're cheap and you like buy one at a time. <laughs> For 30 cents a piece. Look, there's a rod with no reel on. This one like this. This looks like a hook in your hand waiting to happen. Oh, we got our little passes? Yep. They just stocked it yesterday, so. Pretty some inflatables in here. Well, based on anything I've caught a trout on here by accident or at Comanche, it's always been a jerk bait, so. I do have a jerk bait on here. What's in here? Battery. You got another battery here, or is this backup? What do you mean? Oh, that's the other battery. And you got another one up there? Just the graph battery up three. That's what I do, bro. Where should we go? You lead the way, coach. It'll be on this side. I'll go over here. Terrence! Perfect timing. It's getting kind of thirsty. Wow. This is the man we were looking for. Wonderful. That's exactly what I was going to throw. <laughs> How are you? How was the garage? It was good. I got there, out huh? a little late, as usual. How are you? Good. Had to get some work done. Well, we're going to try to catch a trout right now if you want to join us. Okay. Yeah. Let me grab a have a rod. Yeah. Why not? Right? Mike's on the water. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna throw a drop shot out. I think these trout all went to sleep already. No. Uh oh, no. don't tell us that. We just got here. <laughs> Not very good in the afternoon. Really? Yeah. You want a beer? Yeah. That's, that's really why we. <laughs> that's we why we were excited you. to see you. <laughs> got beer and apples. Beer and apples. Thank you. Pork chops and applesauce. You have some manners, you gotta wait and cheers them. Can't wait anymore, I'm thirsty. All right, tournament cheers. weekend. Cheers. cheers. Who would have thought we're at a trout pond for a tournament? Hey, 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 hey,
That's uh, different. Good, 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 good. Good, good. good to see y'all. Good to oh, see you too. Catch a 10 pounder out there? I never saw a bass. Well, good news for you. We went to the trout pound. Wrecked them. Trout? Trout, hey. bass. Really? Crappie. You got they were a six pounder everything. on a freaking wacky Everything. Really? Really? Flip it out there and it was Dang, a giant crappie. Go. Crappie, trout. I got like a three and a half pound trout on a shaky head somehow. I don't know how I got that whole worm in his mouth, but he did. I'm just joking. We, we didn't get a single <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't, didn't get a He's getting ready to go to the trout pond. Dude, where's our beds going, bro? I don't know. I was just saying, I feel bad taking the room, but I'm trying to segregate the snores. So, oh, just whatever you need, man. Yeah, yeah. uh, you guys can all get back yeah. there. Somebody can sleep on this couch. I got my cot. I think. Well, I got a cot. Oh, I think. I think. I think there's more room for I'm gonna cot. put my cot right here. Grab that side, T. Oh, just, just check. Going. Oh, oh sweet. sweet. Hey, there's uh, peanut butter and jelly in there for you. Oh, cool. Thanks. I can't believe how hot it is out there, dude. I was You're burning. Right. I haven't Spongy. seen the sun in months. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, those are like crack. You get started on them, it's just cocaine. I'm gonna throw it out there and say, I don't think it's gonna be as easy as you guys think it is, Smart. I, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. I don't think it's Especially gonna be, 14 inch or something. I think they're funky. I think funky. fish are like, what the f is this giant ball of fire in the sky? Yeah, we feel good because it's warm out, but yeah, it doesn't they don't fish. go good. Alright, let's go to bed, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Just go to sleep. What did you guys do last night? Went to bed at 6 30. Parrot, sit down. Mike, sit down. Is, am, am I gonna be in here? Shit, I'm bigger than you now. Love juices flowing. Good. Yeah. What? It's great. Right. I'm good right now. All right, guys. Wow, we're here. Where are we? Uh, Lake Comanche. We're in Comanche. Yeah. We're Comanche. Yeah. But we're not but, fishing here. But we're not in Comanche. Hands down, one of the best fisheries in Northern California. <laughs> it's beautiful, though. We're at this cabin. The view right now is just it's it's spectacular. Amazing. It is nice. It is, it's dude, crazy. Yeah. It's like I was coming through park. town this afternoon, and there was campers. I mean, oh, well, yeah. I mean, it's the best weekend we've had in six months. Everybody's like, get the camera, well, let's go. Beautiful weekend. Beautiful. So everyone's coming out, getting nice uh, outdoors, fishing, camping. Little Irish. Crush and oh, Irish. Yes. Paddy stay. When is that? Day. Sunday. 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 Oh, this week? Yeah. Oh, that's Give Sunday. us an Irish accent. Okay. Why did the chef only put 239 beans in the soup? I don't know why. He didn't want to make it too farty. <laughs> Damn, you got that queued up. Did you guys script this? Mike's such a quick-witted man. Finn. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's my nephew in Ireland. Oh yeah, yeah that's right. You have relatives in Ireland. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're They're here. The only Mexicans we're here for the Gambler Series event number two. We reminded the folks at home that the first one we had was at Rollins. Old Santa Claus came away with the W. First W. Yep. Woo! <laughs> so technically, going into this event number two, you are leading AOI. Yes, yeah. oh, that's a lot on your shoulders there. By default. No pressure at all. Yeah. But you know, Mike had a good event too. You got fourth. Oh yeah, I got it's the best when you're right out of the money. Sick event. It's gonna be a gorgeous weekend. Two days, Lake Beautiful. Party. Party! It would yep. be greater if it was one in five yep. No, I like the reason I wanted to do this is because when you win something, you actually You're not win gonna something. win though, Dutcher. Well, it doesn't matter. When you guys win something, you're there actually you go. gonna now win something. Okay. Okay, expectations. I, don't know. I, I have no idea what to expect. I know I did watch yeah. some. I watched some videos and all over the place. Jig, crankbait. Nope. Um, <laughs> drop shot. Uh, all sorts of stuff. So I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go through everything. And when I get a bite, I'll stick with that for a little while and see how it goes. I like the fact that there's no fishing pre-fishing thirty days before. Yeah. But yes. it does make you really scratch your head. Prior yeah. to the tournament and during the tournament, because you, you don't know what to do. Like, you yeah. have no idea. Like, pre fishing at least one day, how we normally do it, kind of get a, like, a feel for the lake and you kind of know what's going on. But yeah. this that is being totally... said, though, how many times have you chased a bite that you got maybe, you know, a couple bites on pre fish? I've done it clear like a lot. It's true. Where you get a couple bites and you're like, oh, dude, I'm on it. Like, I figured it out. And then next day you go tournament and that's what you're focused on. Yeah. And you blow four hours of your day. That's what happened to Oracle. Or yeah. That's true. I've actually had a lot of better pre fish days than tournament days. Dutch, what do you think? You know, it's it's gonna be really hard to figure it out because the the fish I think are gonna be kind of funky because like they like disco. Well, yeah, they're what kind of funk. They're gonna be discoed out. Well, Literally, the temperatures have changed thirty yeah. to forty degrees in two days. It went from raining and cold to yeah. beautiful.
full in seven. I came it, down it from the from... Sierras and it was 32 at work. Got here at 70, and I'm like, yeah. whoa. I'll, I'll say I was I was coming down. All the cherry blossoms were just oh, yeah. out and full. They're everything's we're blooming. In less. All the low snow is going to be melting, so there's going to be a ton of water coming in. You still. should quit your job at Caltrans and become a weather person. He's like, hey, it's uh, Justin Dutcher hey. here again. Up here we're going to hey. have some high clouds. Down here we're going to have no fish at all. I'll be soaking a drop shot over there with no bites. Back to you, Frank. <laughs> it wouldn't I, be a video without him. I, 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 I think he nailed it. <laughs> what, what about uh, day one? So it's 14 inch. You got to have 14 inch fish. Oh, that's right. right? Oh, sh so it's no, no 12s. You got to have 14 uh, length tomorrow. Day one. Day one? Or yeah. both days? Let's go day, day, one. Let's day, go one. day one. Day one. Let's go day, day one. Day one. Day by day. All right. Day by Seven. day. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go like two the hearts to feet as well. Uh, eight, five to 87 oh, inches. So I'm going to go 86 to five. Based on past tournament results, because there's been tournaments out here, kayak tournaments, I'm going to say 92 for day one. All right. What? And then just FYI, could be an X factor. There's some big <laughs> small mouth and party. Mike, what do you think? I have no idea. I I was thinking Doesn't 83 inches would be good. Right, right. 83. I mean, you never know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I was thinking a limit of 16s with a kicker. I think the fish are going to be in a funky mood. I think they're, they're moving up. They're getting ready to start staging. Well, the smallmouth don't really care about the cold water, and this is a smallmouth lake. I think it could be 90 inches of smallmouth. 90 inches of smallmouth. Dude, this is, from what I know, this is smallmouth heaven in California. I can fish for smallmouth. I'm really good at it. Right Just kidding. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Gambler series event number two, yeah. Lake Pardee. Uh, there it's AOI going to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Alrighty folks, 811, that was a pretty decent run right there. We launched at 7.30, first cast is 7.30, last cast 3.30. We have to be off the water. Photos submitted by four. So, made a long run, got away from the crowd. Water temp's 55, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Let's hope they're biting. Hopefully we fish clean, make the right decisions. As we always say, you can't win on day one, but you certainly can lose it. So let's try to get that limit, try to figure a pattern out and go from there. Fish counts. <laughs> we got a little squeaker. A little squeaker. I'll take him though. Large mouth, huh? Well, get us started. <laughs> That's good. It's a jig bite. It's a jig bite. And he thumped it, so maybe that is indicative of something. We'll see. They need to get a little bigger than that, though. Oh, it's a big small mouth. 
Oh god, stay get Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez. Oh it's a oh my god, is that a small mouth or a large mouth? Dude, that's a giant. Oh my god. Well that's the right one right there. Chokage. That makes sense. I had them probably on forever. Oh my gosh, there's a giant fish right there. Dude, holy smokes, that's a big smallmouth. Might be one of the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught in California. That's a way to start the day. Oh man. gets old catching big fish will always give you the shakes yes sir yes sir yes sir oh man that was exciting well that definitely gives us a hint right there dragging a jig I mean we're gonna catch fish like that even if it's a bite every 30 40 minutes just need five of the right ones stay here but I also don't want to waste too much time here too I'm not really seeing much on the graph I have no clue why that fish was here it was just maybe pulled up or something I, I don't know it's hard to say There's plenty of other places to go check could always come back to this later but man when you catch one like that you just know what the potential is it's kind of hard to leave but I'm not getting bit so can't waste too much time I could get one more big bite or even like a decent bite 16 17 incher that would keep me here well, take a look at the stand real quick. Kind of want to gauge the rest of the field. Sometimes, you know, assuming people upload, you can see how the fishing is in general. Oh, look at that. Justin Dutcher and Aldi Waldi, first and second. Only three people submitting fish, though. So, to me, that means the fishing is kind of slow, I would imagine. It's not like the boards lighten up with scoreable fish. Might have to put in a little more time here and continue to fish kind of slow. Man, not feeling it here. Do not want to waste any more time. The area is not productive and it does not seem like this area is productive. So, let's cover some water and move on. Man, the water is gin clear and I haven't seen a single fish up shallow, or even in like 10 to 15. Doesn't hurt to look, but I just do not think there's a shallow deal going on. 10 15, I'm starting to kind of get a little worried. Oh, man, I'm just like dying to set the hook on something. o'clock how is this possible dude fishing is tough i'm back at spot number one now i just don't know what to do it must be just like buried or something oh, all right let's make a cast eat a street taco flavored meat stick Gotta get the morale up. Okay, got a bite. How did that work? That's a big one. Oh. 
Oh, I need you something bad, buddy. Oh my god. That's why you have a long net. Oh, that was a stroke and a half of luck. Now oh, my meat sticks all watery, whatever. Oh, they're smally. Oh, dude, it took forever to get number three. Happy to have them. We're on the meat stick pattern. Ooh, a little feisty. Come on, baby. Right, number three never thought I'd be saying this at this point but I'd just be happy with a limit two more keepers figured out what we're doing and I figured out the bait it's the only one we've gotten fish on this combination a little finesse jig with the chicken craw max scent I think we need to go slow fish deep and slow if we can do that for the next four more hours I think we'll be able to pick up two more and it's, yeah I just I want to so bad I got you know I got a good one I got a good one on the score sheet you hate to not get a limit when especially when you have a big one two more maybe if I'm getting greedy I'd say we need to call the 12 so catch three more decent ones and we'll be sitting pretty it has been a tough bite today though no doubt man my mood could be so much different right now if that fish came off I mean it did but if it got away oh that would have been so disheartening That was a giant. That was a giant. Oh man. How did you come undone, dude? Oh gosh, that was a big one. Oh no, that hurts. All right, now I'm in pain. Oh gosh. I haven't lost a big fish in a tournament in a long time. And talk about how much excitement you have when you catch a big one but man the pain you have when you lose a big one i'm hurting now guys I, I, I do not feel good right now oh gosh Dude, I gotta stay here. They're all big here. Oh my god, there's one with it too. There's one with it too. They're, they're here, dude. They're here. They're just buried on the bottom. Maybe it's not as big as I thought, but I'll take them. Golly, number four. Five of these dudes and I'll be happy. So I know there's more down there. Okay, that makes me feel better. It's three bites around these two islands. I think I gotta stick it out here for at least my last fish, hopefully, before one o'clock. And I might start heading back. We are a good 45 minutes from the ramp. I mean, I wanted to use maybe the last couple hours of this tournament, ideally, to go explore some other stuff, but I just don't know if we're gonna have time, really. It's a grind. I gotta grind these bites out. I do think these fish are starting to move up a little bit now, though, and they seem a little more active or willing to bite. Smallmouth, actually. Dang it. First time I saw one shallow. That was a smallmouth. Seeing a bunch of trout around here. Yeah, they're definitely moving up and getting curious. This warmer weather. Just gotta land on one now. 
one o'clock or 12.56, you got probably, eh, I'm gonna say two hours, 15 minutes, just dragging this jig along. I'm hoping we get one more. If we can do that, I would feel so much better about that lost one. Just on days like this, man, you can't, can't make mistakes. You're only gonna get so many bites and you don't put them in the boat, could cost you. So I'm just praying that we can get at least another bite or two in the next couple hours and redeem ourselves. We need that fifth to stay alive for tomorrow. Well, guys, I just realized something. I only got three keepers. I totally forgot. 14 inch minimum. That first 12 incher doesn't count. Oh, no. We gotta get two more fish over 14 inches. Gonna definitely need, uh, you know how the guys always make fun of me for doing like the last minute heroics, always stumbling upon something in like the last 20, 30 minutes of a tournament, which I'll say is true sometimes, but I'm gonna definitely need that today. I need to catch two fish over 14 inches in the next hour, or we are in some serious trouble. baby let's make some magic happen let's make some magic happen i was just thinking about leaving too i swear i really was just thinking about leaving and eating my lunch and fishing a few spots on the way back but nope gotta stick to the game plan fish this the rest of the day have to it's my best chance i think for another fish Come on, one more, baby. One more. Catching one more is a lot easier than catching two more. Dude, I think I've circled this island a couple of times. My God. the one big one today 315 this is definitely the last cast and we gotta go no oh no dude this was a debacle of a tournament man holy smokes 315 we gotta go guys not much else to say that's fishing it hurts it, it really hurts that that sucks very bad i cannot believe it is 315 316 now we had our fifth it was a big small mouth i choked i choked what are you gonna do Let's get back in, load up for this recap of a cluster of a day. Come on, Bam. Come on in, Bam. Dark horse in top ten somehow. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Oh my God. Two limits, but everybody's in the yeah. top ten. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the top ten. All then ten out of eleven anglers. Marshall, right? Yeah, 
dog. No, oh, south. Oh, south. Oh, you're south. south Shore? South Shore's even better. I'll find you. We're in cabin number four. I'm blah. Oh, smoke cigarettes while you're sitting in your dining room. Hey. Is that enough? We'll, we'll get all of this in. All right, scoot real quick, cool. just in case. Come on cool. in, Bammer. It's been from behind you guys. Yeah, I think we're in. Wow, this is the longest line of Longer birds. Done. All right, right hey. Good job, guys. Right. Day one's over. Day one's in Cheers. the book. Right, Cheers. Cheers. Horrible fish. Is it what yeah, we expected? Man, we... No, I thought no. we were going to be lights out crushing giant smallies. No. What, what did we guess? 90 inches or something like that last night? We said 90. I yeah. said 80. I, I, said, I said 86. I said 83. All right. Well, <laughs> shall we just go through our day? We'll start yeah. over there by Sean. He's made an appearance here and there on the videos. It's been stressful. They, they accepted my oh. fish. Fourth place. Yep. Nice. All right. Nice. So you got five. Yep. Very nice. Was There's great. only uh, four, four limits? Five yeah. limits now. Was there five now? I think it's five. All right. Aldi, how'd your day go? Oh, ended up with two. Oh, welcome back, Aldi. Yeah! Oh. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> a little preoccupied nowadays, but you made it out for the derby. Yeah. And I think I'll make it out next weekend, too. Bam, Bam hasn't made an appearance in a while. Bam, back in the swing. Of course, you jump back in and start doing good, like always. But what do you expect? Dude, when you Soap got it, you got it. What do you want to know? Time. How'd you do, Bam? Uh, I got a limit. It was. It was rough though. I didn't catch a fish until 11. Had to fish incredibly slow. Wow. Wow. If that's wow. Bam saying incredibly slow, it must have been not moving at all. Because I've sat next to him with a Ned Rig and it's creepy. It's like a child fishing power bait in the cons of Comanche. Uh, Michael, your day? I sucked as usual. I got three fish. That was it. But somehow we're all in the top 10 even with three fish. <laughs> Terrence, Santa, well, reigning I, AOI or AOI currently oh, leader. Yeah, yeah. Defending um, champion of the gambler series. I, I only got four fish, and like bam, I didn't get my first bite until 10:30. Everything I caught was in the same cove, so we get to sleep in. Um, I yeah. moved around quite a bit, but yeah, it was a struggle. I got a 13.75. Would have been nice if that was a 14. Huh. You could always dream. They're free. Yeah. All right, and the man of the hour, Coach, the old choking Coach, second place after day one. That's a hot seat to lose it tomorrow when you skunk <laughs> dead sticking a Ned rig on. A trolling board <laughs> sideways oh, with a God. swim bait upside down wacky rig. All right, explain Strawberry yourself. Sunday. Well, the heck happened I was the opposite of these guys. I had all my bites before 11 o'clock. and Such a good fish, man. I just came in on a spot, the only spot that I've ever fished on this lake. And I came in there and I was able to put some fish in the boat. What was it, spider grub or underspin? Both. Oh, well, it was not. Fish, I no. witnessed all these fish, by the way. No, and the, you did not. And the technique of hook sets while eating lunch and fishing around for lunch. other tackle. Well, Here's how it goes. Man, He's man. digging through his, what's that bag called? Money sack. He's digging through that and he picks it. Oh, got one! Acting like he's gonna pull a different bait out. Yeah. <laughs> when it's all full of kayaks. I just like anyways. to look at him throughout the day. <laughs> yep. yeah. All right, well, I'll keep it short. Uh, my day was... <laughs> What? It wasn't the greatest. I choked. I choked big time. You know, I'll say that I've had a lot of good fortune in the past, well, last year for sure. I don't more even think I- More than you deserve. Yeah, I know, probably more sure. than I deserve. And I think it kind of almost balanced out a little bit today. Um, no, I think you got a couple more for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it'll all balance out eventually. And today it's just was a- snowball and get worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might as well sell all your stuff and but, get out of yeah, the high. I mean, I got, got I've got no lows. excuses. I fished sloppy. I didn't land the fish. Poor net jobs, bad decisions. I got too antsy at the end. I had a fish literally the last cast of the day as might you know that's how it goes right always greg, last cast. the old last mm. cast of the day and last cast with shaw just, i mean greg blanchard just rewind this about i don't know four minutes and you'll see yeah it was it was painful it, it hurt but, you know? uh four fish but you know that's apparently decent just to, you got 1975 that's big fish of the tournament yeah, right it was tough today i will I mean, say how wonderful it was to be on the lake it was nice beautiful spring day yes 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 the weather was amazing we got another day another things, day things can change another day of struggle yep. like 100 inches tomorrow 100 any, inches any one of us could win yeah. yep we're, good. Oh, we're all in it cheers, cheers. yeah